friends, it's Heidi from the future. I'm jumping on to say hello and welcome to my Rhinebeck vlog. Um, it's been a fantastic weekend full of sheeps, friends, and yarn. So um, you'll see all of the clips. It's a long video, I'll warn you ahead of time. So grab a cup of tea or something or coffee, whatever your beverage of choice. And um, I'm really happy to have you along just to give you a little bit of an idea of what we were up to this weekend before we jump into it because I don't always remember to narrate <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about it in this introduction so basically um, because I'm in Ottawa it's about a seven hour drive down to um, Rhinebeck or the kind of the upstate New York area where the festival is happening because not everything happened in in Rhinebeck so um, we drove from on day so on Thursday we drove down it was about seven hours to Woodstock New York um, and with stops and everything we only got there around 10 o'clock at night so um, we were we stayed in Woodstock in this um, Airbnb called Hotel Woodstock um, it was very cute uh, but very old and definitely not accessible. There was only stairs and they were steep stairs and it was a loft space so we had to climb these very tight spiral stairs up and the tub was like extremely high so it was hard to get a leg up. So I would not recommend that hotel if you have, you know, if you have kind of creature comfort because the, the shower was kind of weird too and you know it was an old building definitely so we're not recommend if you have you know issues with accessibility or you like kind of a more cushy and you know nice living space but it was very affordable so that's what I'll say about that um but the town of Woodstock was very cute if you know the show Gilmore Girls it was basically Stars Hollow and everything was like you know autumnal and like like these beautiful like fall colors and there were lots of little um, cute cafes and uh, cupcake places and little you know uh, independent shops to check out so very nice town to have stayed in it was about a 20 minute drive from um, most of the places we we're going to so we went to Indian Tangled and that was in Saugerties or Sargetti and then Rhinebeck as well so those were only about 15 minute drive away um, and, and then we went to Kingston for one one of the evenings for a knit night and that everything was about 20 minute drive so it was very well located um, and you know far enough away that you weren't you know always surrounded by people like because it, it does get quite busy around Rhinebeck during this particular weekend so it was nice to be a little bit further away but still see knitters around so we kind of were doing spot the sweaters wherever we were going so that was quite fun and you know like you would just be walking through town and then people would recognize that you were wearing um what a popular design and they'll say hello knitters so it was quite um it was a fantastic experience and actually it was funny enough the border guards um on the way back was like basically had gotten a ton of people coming back from the festival so it was um and then it was funny because I said oh did anyone offer you to make you socks and he goes nope and there's four as a four us four of us out here and all of our feet are freezing so we were like is that a hint <laughs> but um but it was it was pretty pretty neat and I don't know if I should say this on a video but he didn't ask us how much we spent but I think it's because people assume like how much could you possibly spend on your own festival so he didn't ask us and we were like whoo because we were all kind of pushing that $800 limit a little bit um what was the point okay so where was I going with this? D drove down, we did Indian Tangled on the first day, and I recognized that there was a bit of a controversy around Indian Tangled because um, they had asked uh, Denise of Byron Henley to appear at one of their festival and was using her image to promote the event without having compensated her for it. And then there was some, the follow-up statement kind of made the situation worse, but I thought it was very important to go and support the vendors that were selling at Indian Tangled who had spent a lot of money, time, work, you know, to bring, to prepare for the festival. I thought it was really important to support the vendors there despite 
the particular action taken by the organizers that I didn't agree with. Um, and I did see some beautiful yarns there. Um, and specifically the reason why I was, I really wanted to go to Indian Tangled was because the farmer's daughter had a Sisters United booth. Um, so they, they had, um, Candice, um, who was the sweetest person, had a, um, beautiful, her beautiful yarns out, but in, um, she also had a community weaving project to, um, ra both ra raise awareness for missing and murdered Indigenous women, as well as just, um, it, it was a, it's a community empowerment project to raise up Indigenous women and girls. So I thought it was a fantastic, um, cause that I needed to go and support. So, you know, I thought it was really rather irresponsible of the organizer to have put some of the vendors who in that, in an awkward situation where people started to say that they didn't feel comfortable attending or that they as a vendor should pull out of the event. So I really wanted to go and support the, all of the vendors, particularly Candice, the farmer's daughter, um, La Bienne May, Amy, who's the sweetest, um, Nerdbird Makery, who's wonderful, oh, and Choi, who runs a wonderful farm with all of her own sheep and that she spins into gorgeous yarn with a beautiful luster. I wonder if it's handy next to me, it's not. Um, beautiful luster that she blends with uh, Rami and, um, and silk, so it's it's beautiful and her farm is called Middlebrook, it's called Middlebrook Farms or something. Anyway, all of these will be linked below. Um, I, I shouldn't have started listing people because I'm gonna miss more people. Anyway, Indian Untangled was fantastic and it was such a great like meeting people experience and seeing people that you've only seen online and things like that. So it was super fun. A uh, word of warning if you've never been to Indian Untangled before, if you need to go to the bathroom, there's no stalls, <laughs> it's curtains. And we were like, as like a kind of hypochondriac, I was like, how, I don't really want to touch these curtains because of, you know, like the micro sprays that come out. And also I'm like, this is gross. I'm sorry about this, but like, do you know like diva cups that you use for your period? Like I can't use them because I have this like um, irrational fear, which like one of my friends proved to be true because she actually did this thing. Uh, irrational fear, because it's a diva cup. I don't know if you know what it is. You, It's a cup you insert for your period. I'm so sorry for this hand motion. <laughs> um, and my nightmare is like in public, I would try to remove it and then somehow like spray the blood everywhere and I was like can you imagine if like these curtains you just got if you accidentally just like missed and oof. anyway and so I was like how do you know if one is occupado you know because it's all just it's literally a curtain you pull closed there's no locks on them and then at one point someone like shouted across from me to the other side but she was sitting basically next to me so she just like shouted in my ear and I was like ah. so anyway an interesting part of the Indian Tangled experience, I suppose. Um, and then, um, what else? So then that evening we went and met up with um, some wonderful people, basically all of the um, people who work at Espace Tricot, uh, minus Lisa and Melissa. So um, Emma, Naomi, Steph, and Mona, who are all of my favorite so we went for a knit night and uh, at one point Steph pulled out a guitar. It was, you know, a good night and uh, full of knitting and just chat and that. And then on um, 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 Saturday and Sunday we went to the actual Rhinebeck Festival or New York Sheep and Wolf Festival. And I'm going to have to be honest with you here. I did not have fun on Saturday. And if I had only gone on Saturday, I would have never gone back to Rhinebeck ever again because basically we lined up for um, an hour to get in to the festival and we got there around 9.30, which is half an hour after the festival opened, which is that part was fine because we were in line chatting and it was beautiful. Um, 
But then we needed to go to the bathroom, so then we lined up for another half an hour to go to the bathroom. And then we decided we wanted the um, the bag for this year, and then that was two hours in line for that. And I uh, have a lot of anxiety, and I do not like crowds, and I, 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 I being very empathetic person I take on a lot of other people's emotions and I could tell like people just weren't happy being in line and I started to hear people say things and so basically I like while in line for this bag I started to have a panic attack so I had to it really took all of the energy out of me because I was like I started to like have tears and then so basically I just like went outside and just had like a trail mix snack and a lot of people came by and said hi to me actually while I was like eating my trail mix trying not to cry so it, it helps because it really um I guess that's the good part of it there were so many people that you you know and you've kind of met online and they recognized you so I was like eating my trail mix trying not to like freak out more and then people came by and they really helped to ground me again but um you know that was such a whole body thing having um, anxiety panic attack that I did not have energy and I didn't want to be there anymore for the rest of the day and then you know I finally talked myself around to it and then we went to Harrisville and waited it, it it was impossible it was like so many people packed into that booth and then I knew I wanted yarn from there so I finally got myself in there but then I was like stuck because everyone had their big bags and they were moving all like kind of physically in my space and then I had to wait an hour and a half to get to the till you know it was so the first day we basically at two o'clock we were all like we're done like and you know and we paid 18 Canadian dollars for a, for a little sandwich just because it was the shortest line and so it was a lot on the first day and if if you had asked us on the Saturday if we would go back I think all of us would have said absolutely not it was not fun but then going on the Sunday it was probably the best day ever because I basically there was no crowd well no there were still people but like on Saturday it was like even in the outdoor parts you would not go like one minute without someone physically touching you and not even on purpose just like in your space and then you know people were grumpy and you could tell like there was there was more people who um, got dragged there with someone who wanted to be there and they didn't really want to and they didn't think the lines was worth it So I kept hearing like oh, this is not worth it or oh like did that person budge in front of me like we were You know, so that was Saturday and so there's a lot of negative energy in the air I felt at least in the places that we were going and so uh, I'll circle back around to what we would do differently if we go again. But so on the Saturday, Sunday though, it was so much different. There was no lines. Like, I mean, there was a lineup, but we didn't, it was, it was fast moving lineup. So we got in line for the door and we were in, in about 30 seconds, even with having to buy a ticket for, um, Agnes. I don't know if I told you. So I went with my friends, Agnes and Yang Hong and also Axel, who's um, Agnes's boyfriend. It's because me and Yang Hong don't have driver's licenses. So we were the bratty kids in the background going, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And then, and then Agnes and um, Axel rotated the driving. So I don't know where I, we found people as sweet as them because I certainly would not have put up with me because it was like every couple minutes, like Yang Hong would turn to me and be like, there's four hours left. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know why they didn't just like stop in the middle of the highway and kick us out because I would have. <laughs> so anyway, I don't remember where it was. Okay, so yeah, so Axel didn't come with us to India Untangled or um, the first day of Rhinebeck, but he did come for the Saturday because we were driving, starting our drive back to Ottawa at noon the second day. So we were only there for the morning, but like, honestly, it was the best morning ever. And it made the whole, it like made me forget the entire experience on Saturday. So on Sunday, we got there and we were like, 
okay, there was no crowds. So then I was like, I want to go see yarn because I could actually see the booths. Because on Sunday, it was on Saturday, I could not even see into the booth. And I knew if I went in, I would not be able to come back out. And I don't like being trapped in places. So on Sunday, Sunday we walked in and there was like free. And I was like, I want to go. Originally, we were like, we're only going to go see animals today. No, no yarn, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, I can finally shop. And then so I we went and checked out like lots of lots of booths. And then after that, we went to see the Leaping Llama show, which was delightful. Like definitely one of the highlights. And it wasn't just llamas, they had alpacas and also mini baby goats. And then also sheep trying to do the leaping. Oh, so cute. Anyway, um, you'll see it in the video after this. Um, and then I met even more people, actually, because I don't want to sound like Saturday was all bad because I saw so many wonderful people and, um, you know, got so many hugs and things like that. It was just that, you know, the, the anxiety parts kind of took over the memory of the day, which is a shame. So, yeah, Sunday was so fun. You know, we got to squish yarn. I bought some beautiful yarn, including this one, which has a gorgeous luster to it from, it's like from Maine. I'm gonna make a little hat out of it. Oh, Sunday, such a good experience. So circling back around, what I would do differently if I go back to Rhinebeck again, and I think I do want to, is we would again go on a Thursday, do the drive, and then check in. Maybe I would leave earlier so that we didn't end up you know, getting there around 10 so that we would have time to walk around the little town because the upstate New York area is just beautiful. Like it doesn't, we stayed in Woodstock. I would stay there again. It was so scenic, so many cute places to look at, lots of little cafes and restaurants. Great. I already said all of that. And then on, I would do also Indian Tangled. Um, I think the two o'clock time slot we got was fine, like, because it was, it was sold out in like 30 seconds and so rather than trying for the 10 o'clock we just tried to get you know 12 or 2 so we ended up getting tickets for 2 I think some people ended up being disappointed because they tried to get the earlier time slot so then by the time they realized they couldn't get the earlier ones the later ones were sold out so it was a good decision and honestly there's nothing that would get sold out you know the vendors know their business like and also if it was sold out, you wouldn't have known it was there in the first place, so it's all right. Or pre-order, you know, you can always pre-order. So there's nothing that made it worth it for the extra cost money. Like it cost more to get the earlier tickets and it was more difficult to get. So, it, you know, I would do Indian Tangled again, definitely go for the later time slots. And then that meant, you know, after a day of driving, we got to have a relaxing morning. We went for brunch before we headed out to Socrates, which was also a cute little town. And then because we had the later tickets, we were able to walk around the town first. And they had shuttles going from the town back to the in the untangled place and then back to the town so you could easily go back and forth but there's a yarn store called the perfect blend so you know there was lots of opportunities to do other things prior to Indian Tangled and then you went to Indian Tangled so that day was fantastic but we were pooped because it was crowded not as crowded as you know Rhinebeck was by any means so I didn't wasn't bothered by it but I think it was that day I met like it was like as soon as I walked in, someone was like, ah, so then I spent two hours talking. So I think that was why I was so pooped by the end of it. And then um, we had the midnight, so that was wonderful. Um, Saturday, what I would do differently if I go again is I would not attempt to shop at all. It would be about people that day. So maybe next year what I could do is try to... I was thinking it would be really cute to organize like a meetup of a specific pattern. So actually me and Yehong went in matching Lovage sweaters this year. And so I think it would be really neat. And especially because I do more complicated patterns, I think it would be like, like really fantastic to, to meet up, do a meetup with like a specific, like very complex pattern that we're all matching in. For example, I'm thinking, 
the um, Henry VIII by Alice Starmore. So it's this like full color work with steaks, like um, shifting colors through the whole thing. Um, I think that would be cool to organize some sort of meetup for and do a photo and you know with the beautiful trees and fall leaves in the background. So that is what I would do differently for Saturday. I would do meetups, people, and see animals do all of the barn stuff but do not attempt to buy anything or go in any of the markets because it was that was the part that took it all out of me if i wanted to buy the tote bag for the year i would pre-order it so i could just pick it up because it's not worth it to try to line up to buy it there um and then sunday would be exactly the same it would you know you go again and be more relaxed and then check it out and get anything that you wanted from the previous day that you didn't get so anyway that's how what I would do next year is just the Saturday differently because uh, yeah that was quite a lot but I had super fun overall and now I don't want to talk to anybody ever again for at least a week <laughs> So thank you and I hope you, thanks for listening to this whole 20 minute blah 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 and then I hope you enjoy all of my vlog footage from the weekend. Okay. <laughs> now, now you got that. Now that's, that's done. <laughs> tell me what you got. An Indian Tangled. Sell me things. Show me, show me, show me. Okay, first of all, we discovered this new to us dyer. It's called Kindred Red. She's called Kindred Red. Mm -hmm. And she, this was our very first festival, and she does such super cool, bright, amazing stuff. So that's going to be a pair of socks. For I my have feet. three. Three of them. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I will figure something out. Yes. What are the names on yours? The names are really cool. Yeah. Mine is Oh Snap colorway. Oh, this one is Aqua Chakra. Okay. Like Aqua. That's not exciting. Aqua this one chakra. is Sulphur Spring Eternal. Nice. And this one is Clementine. Oh, yeah, very appropriate. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Okay. What should I show one? Yeah, show some. 
So I got a few special event colorways. Ooh. So this one's from Wobble Gobble. And Wobble. it's the I Smell Pumpkin Spice Latte. Ooh. We didn't get any Wobble Gobble. No. Regrets? No. Regrets. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Is that oh. Touch it. It's so soft. So the second oh. special event one is I from... I have that too! From La Vienna May. And it has her signature yellow in it. It's in her new Cash Merino base as well. And let's see. It has these teals. Yeah. And then Yan Hong has it too. Did you get Cash Merino? No, Sport White. Sport, sport White. Oh, hey. What are you going to make out of it? I don't know. <laughs> I never know. So it's called Lyra. And it's the special event color for Indian Tangled this year. What else did I? What else you got? I got some stuff. Oh wait, okay, my last. Okay. Oh yeah, special, special edition. Yeah. So then I went to the farmer's daughter, and she had the sisters united campaign for this month. So I got there the um. This is an ode to autumn. So the proceeds for getting the patch and for the color is all going to the sisters united um campaign. And I'll leave the link to for more information about that. Okay, tell me what else you got. What else you got? Uh, this comes from our last two minutes of the show. There's two minutes left on the giant projector, and we realized we needed to give away all our money. Yeah. But we found beautiful people to give it away to. This is from Earl Grey Fiber Company. Darjeeling Sock. It's a superwash merino nylon. And I got two of one color. Mm. This one is called Smoky Quartz. And this one is called Dolores, and I thought that they would look really nice in a shawl. Yes. Or a sweater. Or a I could do sweater. Oh. These are the smoky quartz. And then this one is what? Dolores? Yeah. Not Umbridge. Not, no. <laughs> this one's beautiful. So <laughs> it can't be. It can't be. <laughs> and I have Petty and Autumn Skies. Petty. Petty. Just like my Petty soul Petty. is no. <laughs> Like my wallet. <laughs> Autumn skies. And Petty. Okay. Really nice yarn, eh? Earl Grey oh, Fiber Company. Oh, and then you want the, the uh, special bag. Maybe yes. I'll go closer with it. This is the special edition bag. Libyan Me and Brooklyn General. Gen General? General? General. My most exciting purchase mm -hmm. was what I was what was on my shopping list, which was a boxy amount for a boxy. Ooh. And this is lambstring yarn. And Mombi is the colorway. Mombi. And I think it's gonna look really pretty with my blonde hair. Mm-hmm. And I can't wait to cast it on. In your eyes. And my and my eyes. Are you gonna start it right away? No, because I'm trying to finish Lovage and oh. another sweater, so I feel like it should yeah. be a reward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I and also have one. I'm sure Axel's not going to sit there for a long oh, time. Oh, yeah, while yeah. Skiing yeah. A My full. boyfriend's not going to <laughs> help hold this while I skein fingering weight. Yeah. No, he's going to go home. I we have lamb string. What is this? We fell hard at lamb I think I'm going to do a love note. Ooh. Buried Alive is called, and it has all of these greens and browns and yellows in it. Kind of getting blown out though. On the... And my Katrinkle stuff is down here. Oh yeah, Katrinkle stuff. Yeah. This is gonna make for a crazy photo after, I love it. Yep. <laughs> a flat lay? Yeah, a good... I know the technical term. Yeah. What else? What, what else did you get? What did I get? Oh, I also... Went to what's her name? Middlebrook Fiber Works. Did you oh, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we I did. Said, yeah. yeah, so I she's like a farmer too. and she does small batch custom mill yarn. And um, so this is Shetland Fine Wool Silk and Rammy, and it's Ooh. like got this really beautiful like oh. sheen to it. That's soft. I wasn't expecting the soft. Yeah, very soft. And I think it would look really beautiful like as cables. Maybe yeah. just a hat. Yeah. Or a cowl or something. Mm -hmm. Mittens? Yeah, Ooh, mittens. Just mittens. It would be like, so soft on your hands. 
Oh, yeah. So Maybe, and then you can do like a mohair lining or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To win those. So that's, Why I'll think of something. It's got a sheen to it. But also she, she gave me her hand spun necklaces. Oh. Yeah. I had a very long chat with her. It was, mm -hmm. it was really great. So that's what she hand spun. She dyed and hand spun silk, I think, to make these necklaces. So there's that. Go more yarn. Yeah, I know. I'm not at the bottom. Ooh, cat sandwich. Yes. Oh, cat sandwich. So I was so excited to see cat sandwich. Ooh, and we have the pins. The pins. Though. The pins. So we, I went to cat sandwich and got this color, which is called uh, uh, playing video games. Let's play video games. So it's got these teals and some pixelated colors and then I also got her pin. What did you get? 250 Two gram skeins of the four ply. So this is ice cream cone cupcake at the top and then what's this one? What's the second one? Something I can't pronounce. Oh, Chibiusa. Must be some kind of reference. Yeah. yeah. That we don't understand. Okay, yeah. and, and then. This oh, you got the, this. the magical card. Yes! Card. Oh, oh, she got these two pins. Oh, I love it. I love the magical card. Yeah. Okay. And then we got these ones. Oh, yeah, we got these. Reminders or tools. So the Kitchener stitch, some um, what are these called? Needle, needle sizers. Needle hole things. And then Thingies. this tells needle you needle what um, weight yarn yarns spinning. are for spinning. Or or just knitting. Or just yeah. if you don't know. Or Same for this. Weight was yeah. looking very thick. Yeah. yeah. Wraps. So all of oh, you bought a few of these. Eh? Yeah. Did you guess you spin? Yeah. I don't. And I got ones like that with sheep drawn on yes. them. Yeah. Oh, but they're downstairs. Oh, what are those? These are more pins. From where? From these people. From these people. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly can? So there's these two pins yes. from Shelly can. And a t shirt from them too. Oh. Ryan Bennett. Oh, cute. It's really soft. Yeah. That's all. That's all for That's you. That's all? Yeah. Oh, I have a few more things. From I got two minis. I think I fell for all of the sparkly things. Yeah. So, so the cat cute. sandwich is Hestelina in it. Nice. And then I also got two minis with Stelina. Oh, those oh. are nice. Oh, from, oh, great. Yeah, from Once Upon a Corgi. So there's... Oh, oh, corgi. Yeah, that's the name of the color. So oh, there's... Uh -huh. Earl Grey Ginger, and then also Ravishing Ginger, and they have Stelina in it. So just too many, so maybe I'll find some socks to put them on. I'm sure you will. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I have some pins too. Pins and washing tape. Oh yeah, right before I left, Amy gave me a oh, sticker. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so she gave me the special sticker for this time. It says Trico Tabe. Nice. And then, but I also bought the matching pin actually for it. So this one. So cute. Yeah. What? I should show my bag. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got this that says Nevertheless She Knitted. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. From Nerdbird. And also from Nerdbird, I got these washi tapes. Nice. Which yeah. has all of the different like yarn foods. Which is super cute. Yarn foods. I yeah. See that. It's like there's sriracha, sushi. sushi, and ice cream, and they're all yarn. Oh, that's so <laughs> cute. And bubble tea and stuff. And then, what else is there in here? I think I'm in them at the bottom of my bag. I'll now. show my bag. Okay. I didn't get this. Oh, today. yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> but um, we met Stephen West. For some of us for the very first time yes. and i showed off the bag from his store which i had a few people pass on to a few people who lived in amsterdam and it finally got to me in canada a while ago 
and he offered to sign it for me. He was yeah. so, so, so nice. Yeah. So now it's yeah. autographed. That's yeah. amazing. And my rusting knit face can continue more yeah. officially now. <laughs> what amazing. That's it. So I guess that's our oh first first day. Part one. Part one. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow we're going to actually Rhyme back. Make sure I don't steal your stuff while I'm. Do not yeah, steal my stuff. Make sure that's yeah. okay. Okay, let's. Mm -hmm. This is mine. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. So, and we're gonna see some leaping llamas. Leaping llamas. So I'm I'm excited to meet sheeps tomorrow. Yeah. And she go to sheep shopping, merino sheep you shopping. Yeah, we have to get a, a real life merino you for somebody. Well, not we're not taking the real life one. No. We're we we're taking a promise to sell a real life one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can't strap a sheep to the roof and it, drive and it's it to her. It's a new her. car, so I don't yeah, want one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not something that you want. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it takes to buy a real life sheep, but I guess we'll find out. We will find out. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they're not that easy to get in New York State. Mm -hmm. But tell me what you're looking forward to tomorrow at Rhinebeck. Be overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> it's yes. our first time going. We were very overstimulated yeah. today, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I am like introverts. <laughs> yeah. I am looking for yarn for my stag head, and I think there's going to be a lot of options. I'm very yeah. excited about that. Mm. And I'm actually just excited to know what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, everyone describes it as like a bit, like, just like an outdoor yeah. with barns and animals and I can't yeah. conceptualize that. It's so hard to conceptualize yeah. it. And I think mm -hmm. we don't really have that sort of event in Ottawa no. or where we grow up. No. Like no. where it's like a fair. Like yeah. And yeah. also yarn. Yeah. yeah. Sheep and, and wool and livestock and yeah. and snacks. Yeah. Oh, but also today we kind of lost Heidi a few times. Yeah. <laughs> she's really kind of famous. No. Um, so we walked through the doors and she was like, Kidnapped. <laughs> everyone was really excited to see her. So that was really cool to hang out with a famous person. But yes. also it means we had to leave her behind a few times. Yeah. But I wonder tomorrow that's going to be a little more challenging because we need to make sure we find each other. Yeah. It's going to be a lot bigger. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. today was a small room. But I but I but I heard like it was because it's so much more dispersed. It's actually not as overwhelming. Like you don't oh, feel okay. crowded okay. because it's outside. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that'll be that'll help mm -hmm. a little bit. So yeah, yay! Whoa, day one, done, done ish, success, done ish. Time, time to sit, knit, and not talk to each other. Yep, it's our plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>
right, let's go, Dana. Oh. Lovely. <laughs> this, this one is pooping the pee. Please turn that That's a test. And it's like right in the middle of the shot. Go, 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 today? Um, I'm going to start with sock yarn because I'm a sock knitter. First two skeins, one I'm going to knit socks for my boyfriend Axel and one is just going to go into my extended sock yarn stash. And these are very soft and they're Wisco sock yarn from Utopia. So awesome. One more sock yarn. This sock yarn is very rustic feeling and amazing, but it also has nylon, which I'm very happy about. So it's non superwash nylon, and it comes from Green Mountain Spinnery. Did we see this one? No, I don't think so. And it's got such a cool rustic color with a bit of green. Can't wait to have super cozy socks. Yes. Um, I also got some sweater quantities. Ooh, sweater quantities. But I'm forgetting the pattern. This is for a Noragon pattern with a boat neck. Beatnik? Beatnik. Beatnik. And so I got 13 of these bad boys. These are also, this color is grasshopper, appropriate, from Green Mountain Spinnery. And I'm super thrilled. So they, they spin the yarn after? Are they? I think you do everything. They even and grow the goats. Goats. That I'm not sure. Sheep. <laughs> grow yeah. the goats. Um, they said what they do is that they breed the sheep. They, uh, they often spin custom. <laughs> so a lot of the indie dyers get yarn designed there. Oh, okay. And they have their own. And then last, I went to. Oh no, I have some lotion also. I went to O Wool. And yesterday at Indian Tangled, I tried on a sample that I loved, and it was the. Fly, free fly, free flying, free, free, free flying, something, something. Heidi will link it in the description box. Oh, yeah, Heidi will add that for in the me. description box. <laughs> um, so I got oh well for that. It's a short sleeve little sweater with beautiful um, birds on it. So this is all fingering weight, silver maple, and Erdenheim. Oh, those are beautiful together. And they're so soft. Beautiful together. And I had to buy the pattern while I was ordering because um, they didn't say how much you need per size, but it's called Free to Fly by Catherine Clark. I just realized that's I don't think pattern. I was in the shot at all. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. And last but not least, I got some lotion bars. Lolo bar, I've heard about this on podcasts, and she was so nice and had amazing um, smells. So I'm just gonna let you uh, sniff that. <laughs> oh, it works, right? No? Yeah. 
<laughs> no smell of vision And it's called PNW Stout. Oh, that's beautiful. But I thought it said snout, and I wasn't sure why <laughs> they would have a snout flavor because I was petting a lot of snouts but in, the, in, the, in the farm booths first. So that's what we did, and um, my boyfriend Axel walked around with me. He was super supportive. Yeah. Yay, hey, shout out. Big shout out to Axel shout for carrying Axel. the yarn. <laughs> That's it! Okay. Oh, and yesterday we also went and got the souvenir bags. And yes. it was an ordeal. An hour and a half. Wait. An hour and a half, yeah. Pre order it always. Yeah. Always pre order. Okay. So, no, your turn. Uh, Yang Hong, what did you get? We got fabric. Ooh. Ooh. I don't have the description. <laughs> um, oh, wow. It's from Heavens to Betsy. And they are washed fat quarters. And we went to Merritt Bookstore where Ocean was having a um, pop-up. Oh, am I doing this no, for you? Do that, do that for me. <laughs> and she got this beautiful mohair. And it's in Halo. The base is Halo and it's parchment. And then you're pairing it with this? I think so. Yeah. Hat. For a hat. Those are the nicest yarn labels ever. Uh, yeah. I think she makes them herself. They're gorgeous. Yeah. And they also smell really good. They smell really good. Smell them. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what she uses to wash them, Some but they're beautiful. I have more. There's more. Oh, I went back to here. Oh, we went back to Harris Street. We went back to Harris Street. Design. This one? What oh, is the you? description of the color? Yeah. You, what did you say it was? Uh, it's when you're really hungry and start seeing stars. <laughs> when you're really hungry and you start seeing stars. You know the, the spots? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Not connected to the yarn. <laughs> <laughs> That's for Michael. And then she bought some. This one's for Michael, her husband. Yes, so like, who also knits. Who also knits. And, and gift skeins. Gift skeins for. For other friends. For other friends. Also in Harrisville design. No, that's uh, that's uh, not that's. Uh, peace oh, this fleece. is peace fleece. Oh, all of the are these. This all is a Harris. Oh, there's the blues are Harrisville and this one is peace fleece. And this and the is, starving is also peace fleece. The starving <laughs> is peace fleece. And then I got books. Oh, oh, we got. Them. Oh yeah, she got books. There's the improper sti cross stitch. Did you get it? Fine? I did. It's signed. It's signed by the author. <laughs> Which one was the, your favorite pattern? The cat one. The cat one. There's a cat. Where is that? Where is it? Where is it? Especially a harvesting. I'll cut out these dead space, I think. Oh my god, I didn't even see this one. Yeah. Drunk cat. Okay, fine. Drunk this is cats. my favorite. Oh, I, I can't. No, don't show it. Oh. oh, you can't show the pattern, I guess. Whatever. Drunk, there's a drunk cat's one there. Oh, we yeah, got we the got shade card. The shade card for Harrisville Design. Because then um, we can order the cones. Oh, I also got the... Oh, yeah. This book, this. we... The, the woman selling it just watched us read this book because we were like... We were like... Oh! <laughs> and then finally, we flipped to this page. Which page is it? Yeah, so we flipped to this page with this cat, <laughs> and then we went, cats! <laughs> so I think she's very entertained by us okay, reacting I'll, to I'll this book. Okay, so it's beautiful, and oh my god, look at this coat. So there's this, they're like pretty crazy looking designs, actually. So very unique. I haven't seen anything like it. I really want to make this one here. So I also got a copy of this book. Yes, and I got Bristol. Oh, a, a signature from Bristol Ivy. Yay. Oh, nice. Because you didn't bring any of I didn't books. bring her books okay. to sign. So yeah. you can put that in And I can't books. buy new ones because I have all of them. <laughs> Was she sitting at a table or did you, you even have her, her newest book? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So like I said, I also got this book. Yarn. My yarn. I also got the Harrisville Design shade card. I am behind on pom pom, so I got the latest back the two the two oh, I issues. The newest yet. So sea changes, and then also the summer issue. 
I then, today I picked out these three colors. Because yeah. by from by Brook Farms. And I thought they would make a really beautiful cowl or scarf, like a color work. And fibers from their island sheep. Yeah, it's from the main island sheep, I think. Wild main island wool. And I just really like the luster that's in the yarn and it kind of has this yeah. halo. And also yesterday I went to the Ravelry meetup and I got a sneak peek at the glow hair yarn from West Wool that's coming out soon. So thank you for giving me some Malia. And we got a little bit of yarn yesterday, but we, we did. can pretend that that didn't happen. <laughs> oh yeah, I did I did get um, a sweater quantity of Harrisville Design um, worsted in Cyprus to make the um, nightingale, it's like a bird cable sweater that's on the cover of Pom Pom. So, all right, we're gonna Bye. we're gonna start the drive back to Ottawa now. Or they are, they're gonna they start are. the we're drive. Gonna we, the whiny we're gonna sit in the back and ask if whiny we're there kids. yet. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're <laughs> really good at it. Yeah.